Thinking about making a trip to Hawaii Volcanoes National Park, but you aren't sure about how to start planning? Well, here's a fun informational video that will help you know what to plan for your visit. If you aren't a military member, you can skip the first part of this video, giving all the military camp introduction. Firstly, this military camp is a great price. It's also in really close proximity to the volcano viewing points, hikes, lava tubes, steam vents, and more. The military camp has a few food options, not too many. There's also a playground for kids, tennis courts, a gym, a bowling alley, and an exchange for quick snacks and food. If you aren't staying at the military camp, no worries. There's a few options of sleep that are in close proximity to the volcano viewing points as well. And you're still close to the lava tubes, hikes, steam vents, and more. You've got the Volcano Inn, Volcano House, Airbnbs, and so many other places that you can stay within close proximity. The first stop that we made was the steam vents right by our cabins. They're so cool to check out. And there are a few good viewing points to see the volcano as well. Unfortunately, the volcano wasn't flowing on this trip, so we weren't able to capture any of that, but we had fun. There was a little trail you can take. It's great for all ages, even if you have a stroller. And the kids thought it was so cool to have the steam hit them in the face. It was extremely hot, like so hot, but we had so much fun exploring. The kids had a blast. Our next stop was the Tropical Botanical Gardens. I would highly consider checking this place out. There was so much greenery, it was very beautiful. Although I was a little nervous the whole time because there were coconuts falling from the trees and we kept thinking one was gonna fall out and hit us in the head. Fear aside, there were a couple really pretty waterfalls. This was also very awesome and great for the kids. The stroller can be brought on this if needs be. That evening, we ended up eating at a Thai restaurant. I'll actually put in the description box. I didn't capture it on camera because we were just too exhausted. The next morning, we grabbed some coffee. I will link the place that we got coffee at because I did not make a video and it is so cute. We also stopped at a really good bake shop and I will definitely put that in the description box also. This was our next stop and it was our favorite. This is called the Kamana Caves. All three of our kids were able to do this. There was a steep staircase getting into the caves, but it wasn't too difficult. The kids had a blast exploring and they even found a couple cool souvenir lava rocks. The cave is nice and cool. It is dark, so I would definitely suggest bringing a flashlight and good tennis shoes to wear. The cave goes really far. I didn't make it all the way through. Me and my daughter stopped, but the boys went on and they said it just kept going and going and going. We then took a little drive up the mountain to the Mauna Loa Visitor Center. We originally drove that direction to see if we could get close to the snow, but we didn't have four-wheel drive and they wouldn't let us pass. We checked out the Visitor Center and did a smaller hike near Mauna Loa. I believe the hike was called Mauna Loa, but I'm not 100% sure. It had good reviews and it was a gorgeous view. All the kids could do it with a bit of encouragement. It only took about 20 minutes to get to the top. I would recommend it for the view and the drive down was so beautiful. It had lots of areas that were covered in lava rock on both sides of the road for miles and miles. It was so We then headed to the town Hilo to grab some dinner. This drive was a little bit longer, but it was enjoyable with the view. We got reservations to eat at Pineapples, which was a very long, long wait. So I would definitely call as early as possible. It is one of the top rated places to eat in Hilo. I thought it was pretty good. I wouldn't give it a five star, but it was worth it for the drinks. I loved the drinks. The next morning we checked out some more lava tubes. These ones were called the Thurston Lava Tubes. They were in super close proximity to the cabins we were staying at located in the National Park. These were very cool to see. The trails were lit up, so no need to bring flashlights. There were good viewing points around this area to see the volcano as well easy for all ages. Again, unfortunately, the lava wasn't flowing, so we weren't able to see any red lava flow that we were so excited to see. After this, we stopped at a bakery. I didn't capture it on camera because we ate the goods so quickly. The bakery was called Puna Lau Bakery, I believe. It was a winner. We headed to the Puna Lau Black Sand Beach. I butcher this. I don't know how to speak Hawaiian, but Make sure to have sandals on at all times. This beach is so hot. 
There were turtle viewing points everywhere, so it was extremely beautiful. Lots of tide pool spots for the kids to explore. We then went to Volcano Winery. This place was a win. The staff was fabulous and the wine was tasty. They were very accommodating to the kids and brought them hot chocolate and coloring books while we enjoyed the six testers. We ended up buying two bottles to bring home. We then explored over to this little area that had some hot springs. I'll also link these in the description box. This place wasn't my favorite, but the kids loved it. The drive was beautiful, but the hot spring itself was kind of gross and they advise you to not swim in it if you have open sores. It was very warm and relaxing, but it definitely wasn't my favorite place to stop. Our final day, we did more walking around the national park, stopped at the gift shop where we were staying at, did a little hike, checked out the volcano to see if there was any lava flow, but there was not, took a picture by the volcano's national forest sign and headed out. It was a perfect trip. I would highly recommend trying this island out if you have never done it before. I think it's not talked about enough. And if you're wanting a beautiful trip, this is the perfect